Hello and welcome to my Android tutorial app. We will be learning how to write and read from internal storage um, using this Morse code machine um, as a sort of exercise. Now all the variables here are written to and then later retrieved from internal storage. So we're not using temporary variables, we're not using shared preferences. So that makes, it's all in the background, though, so you can't see it. Um, but we will be working on that. Um, let me show you how this machine works. Ah, crap. Um, Um, well, I tried to write welcome, uh, it didn't quite work out, but you get the point, my Morse code isn't terrific, but we'll be learning how to make um, this app slowly over a long period of time. Um, let me show you what we're going to do today. Today we're just going to add the button where if you press it, it makes a beep sound, and when you stop pressing it, it stops the, the beep sound. So let's um, let's open up. Um, a new project in Android Studio. Um, <laughs> so we can call this Morse Code Telegraph. That's good. Um, we can just use all the default settings. This is fine. Finish. And um, my computer's a little slow, so we will just uh, hang out here for a while. <laughs> Here we are. Uh, looks like internal error occurred. Uh, I hope that doesn't hope that doesn't affect anything. <laughs> okay, uh, we will just wait for it to execute the tasks. Yeah, it's Gradle is a little bit slow here. <laughs> okay, so um, we have it. Let's look at our, um, let's look at first what we have to do. Step one, we have to put a button on the UI. So that is a, you know, our first, first priority. So let's go to our activity main. We should have a content, but I don't see it. Okay, um, I think it's just, oh, we have an empty activity, that's why. All right. So yay, uh, this is Android Studio 2.2.3. So Android Studio 2, it's an upgrade. Yay, so this is fun. Look at all the new things we have. This is great. I love this new properties window. I don't think we had it before. If we did, I, I didn't notice it. So we could, um, you know, do the same thing we did last time, which is, you know, like, encode it with the text. But now we can just do it all, or more easily, with the drag and drop. So we're going to just delete this text view here. And we're gonna drag in a button. Um, oh, and here's a little confusing thing. Yeah, you can scroll. Look at all these things. This is great. Oh my god, that's amazing. Um, so let's go over to the ID. Let's call it a button press. Um, I like calling my button something. And the text here. Um, oh, oh yeah. Oh, this thing always uh, it tends to freeze on me so you can see it's frozen. Uh, let's just wait here a while. <laughs> PSI index do not match. I don't know. Should I be bothered by this thing at the lower left hand corner? I don't know. Press me. Alright. I don't know. Can we make this a little bigger? I, um, ooh, button styles. Ooh, okay. okay better. They're so much fun. Look at all these. Um, text appearance. Can we make this a large? I, it's hard to see. Oh, uh, text appearance. Come on, is this? There like a large somewhere? Uh, I wish there was just a large. Is this? No, it's, it's good enough, I guess. All right. We'll, we'll we'll live with this. Um, if you want to see the text, it's just this. Um, let's bring the ID to the top. Uh, I sort of like it up there, so I know what it is. Whoops. Um, so 
So this should be fine. So we have put the button there. That's number one done. So now let's work on our job. But first, we have to initialize our button and the tone generators, which are which are things that make the um the beep sounds. <laughs> so let's go over to main activity. Um, and the first thing we want to do is let's write a comment of whatever we want to do first. So we know what we want to do. So initialize our button. And we also want to initialize our tone generators. Generators. OK, I spelled that correctly. All right, so let's do that first. So we want to call button, button, press. And here's a trick if you um, listen to the little, that thing just popped up. Yeah, Alt Enter. How do I? If I, alt en if I press Alt Enter, I can import a class. And look, it's our automatically imported here, right there, widget button. Um, and we want to initialize the tone generator as well, the thing that goes beep. OK, so tone generator, another widget. Um, and we can just call it tone generator, just the uh, generic name. Uh, that is great. Um, and now we have to call it on the uh, the user interface, which is going to be on the onCreate class here. So let's um, set up the button on the UI, a user interface. So that's going to be button tone, which we or button press, as we have just initialized here. And that's going to be a button find bupa id r dot id dot button press and you don't have to use the same you know things as here's I, I like them to be the same it's less to remember um and now we want to um set up the tone generator on the user interface interface so tone generator is equal to new tone generator um, stream type. So that's going to be audio, audio, come on, audio, or what is it? Stream type. Um, I feel like it's an audio. There you go. I need to capitalize it. <laughs> audio manager. And this is a uh, stream music. And now I need to into volume, so I want to do the maximum volume. So that's going to be tone generator maximum volume because we want it to be loud. <laughs> um, so that is great that we can check that off too. So now we want to set up a, an on touch listener on the button, so it will do things, um, you know, when we touch it, when we press it. So let's just give make some space here. So you want to set the on touch listener on the button itself. So that's going to be um, button press set on touch listener um, new what view is this is this this it yeah all right all right yeah so look uh, it just filled in the methods for me automatically which I love. Um, less I have to actually do the better. And let's just um, comment this so we don't forget what this, um, this listener is for. This listener um, will detect when you press the button. OK, they're very easy peasy. Um, so we have set up the listener. Oh, and this thing. The switch state with this that kills me every time. I don't get switch statements. You know, I I feel like what's wrong with if else's? That's how I learn them, and I I never quite understood switch statements. I I just find them weird. I I don't I don't get them. Motion events because that's going to be the you know oh um that's going to be the uh, getting if. If the motion events like what motions happening, that's going to be up and down for us. Um, so we want to get the action. All right, and let's uh, 
do some space there. Um, so let's just write down what we want to do first. That is what we want the switch statement to do. So we want to do um, the actions. So if action is um, pressed down, do an action or do something. Or if, if the action is pressed down, the user is pressing the button. If the action is released, the user has stopped pressing the button. I know this is, seems like overkill, but I forget what I code, like after like a week. So I have to write these. Oh, I have to do cases. I don't get cases. They're just, I don't get why switch statements are so popular. They're just so weird. I don't get them. Okay, action down. And colon. And do I need, do I need this? I feel like I do. Okay, that's good. Yeah, I do. Um, and let's just get to how to break in there. Just, it's basically empty, but we need the break for some reason. <laughs> Case motion event um, action up. colon, brackets, and then we want to break. So now let's write down which each of the cases was. If the user is pressing the button down, um, and here is if the user is has released the button, break. Do we need a default here? I feel like, I don't know. I feel like that's the else. I don't, I don't get, I don't know the syntax for this. Oh, it's just that. Um, I guess I don't. Ah, it's weird. This is weird. Kate, switch statements are just weird. I don't get them. I don't get them. <laughs> um, so we set up the switch statement. So what do we want each in the switch? So if the button is pressed, start the tone, and if it's released, stop the tone. So let's do that. <laughs> so we're finally in. Um, generate a beep sound. So that will be tone generator dot start tone. Um, tone generator. Oops. And look at all these tones. Wow. Um, we can choose from a lot. Um, gosh. Um, which one do we want? So many. Um, wow. Okay. Cool. So, why don't we just, um, let's go crazy. <laughs> let's pick a random one. Um, something, something fun. High SSL. Oh, let's just go crazy. Let's just pick a random one and see how that works out. That that might be a just a terrible, terrible idea. <laughs> or and then stop the the beep sound is here. So that's gonna be tone generator stop tone. And that's a little easier. So let's um let's start this up again on my emulator. Uh right here. And um, see how that works out. Ah, X out of it before it starts up. <laughs> Ooh, something is wrong. Something's wrong. Something bad happened. Okay. Oh, we it's that we can't actually do Halo light. Oh, I was trying to be I was trying to be crazy. Um, so we can't actually do it. We just have to do our regular old appearance. Yeah, so don't do go don't go too crazy with the appearance, I guess. <laughs> um just normal widget button. How do I change the font of that? That's I need to figure that out. Okay, let's try running it for realsies <laughs> this time. On our emulator. <laughs> um 
I'm going to stop this video because it's taking a while, and then I'll start recording when it starts up again. <laughs> oh, hey, wow, that did not take too long. Okay, so um, let's try it out. <coughs> Woo! Does that sound like a Morse code? I don't know. <laughs> that might be a little too crazy. Um, let's let's pick a less crazy tone. Um, uh, let's just do the D's. I feel like those are the um. Oh, these must the A B C. Those must be like notes on a scale, like A B C. No, there's P and S. <laughs> Never mind. How about the seven? That seems like. I don't actually know what these tones sound like. I feel like. I feel like these are just trial and error. There might be a, like a library of this or something. But I don't know. <laughs> that pop with seven. Does that... That's, okay, that's like... Oh, ooh, oh, okay, I get it. This must be the seven on, like, a telephone. Like, that's what seven must sound... I don't know. I'm just making stuff up. But, um... <laughs> that, that, I think, is is the last thing we need to do on our... Morse code machine anyway, so we have finished all these. Um obviously we will be working more on the full app and the upcoming videos, but uh now we can just enjoy our button that works. <laughs> Alright. Um I guess I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!